Capricorn. Hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is a business genius. His information will be down below. But without further ado, Capricorn, let's get right into this. We have messages for you. Coming forward first is the Hermit. Time for a little introspection. So Cap, understand that your light shines so bright. And when this happens, you become magnetic, almost like you know how moths are attracted to light. That's how um, uh, your desires, whatever it may be, jobs, love, uh, relationships, partners, um, anything literally that you want, when you focus on making your light shine so bright that is when you get the attraction we can't go out searching for things we don't want to look for love we don't want to look for jobs we want to attract them into us so it means we want to set the intention to the universe universe i would like this please thank you thank you thank you and then at that point you go into a level of introspection it means you sit with yourself it means you work on yourself you learn things you learn new things you evolve you study books you you study your craft right you 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 meditate learn more about your soul maybe dive into the uh um oh uh oh of course i'm gonna forget it right when i want to say it Akashic records, maybe find out more wisdom about your previous past lives. You know what I mean? But this is the time where you just you want to know that you don't need to go out and seek anything. You want to, you want to bring them to you. You want to attract all your desires to you. And again, that only happens when your light shining really bright. Okay. Here we have the Ace of Cups. There you go. Attracting all those new beginnings to you. Universe validating that. So we've got the Ace of Cups on the board, new beginnings when it comes to endeavors of the heart, a uh, uh, purposeful project, um, heart-based career, maybe a new relationship, right? Maybe a new relationship with uh, maybe added love to your current relationship, but just know the more that you spend time with yourself, the more you, your light shines brighter than then, and, and you're able to attract all your desires to you, okay? I can see here that there's a new beginning in your life and something that really is bringing you a lot of stability. Now is the time more than ever to not bite off more than you can chew, okay? Don't take on more than you have to. Just know that you're being called to do specific tasks and specific, uh, um, you know, uh, guided towards specific purposes right now. This is important to really recognize because a lot of the times we have this tendency to want to overcompensate. So we got to be doing more. We got to be learning more, doing more, trying more. It's not enough. And the thing is with that is we get really taxed and burnt out. When this happens, we fall into a lower frequency state of being, which means it reflects in the form of not feeling quite so appreciative, but maybe feeling a little bit bored, uh, maybe not being so happy with ourselves. And when that happens, then we are more susceptible to attracting that negative energy because energy, no matter what level we are on, say this is absolutely fulfillment, happiness, success, couldn't be better. And then this is as low as you can go, right? Um, sadness, depression, you know, anxiety, all those things. Know that if we are here, we're going to attract things on this level. Okay. Maybe, you know, um, you know, uh, that's when like vehicle crashes come to our, uh, get attracted to us or, um, drama gets attracted to us. We wonder why did, why does drama keep getting attracted to me? But it's because your vibration is down here. Okay. When we're vibing up here, then we get a, we get all of our desires attracted to us because this is where we're vibing. We want to be mindful of this, this vibration because this vibration, it truly is what creates our life. And so the more that we are mindful, about how we're putting our awareness, oops, sorry, where we're placing our awareness and the thoughts we think, um, especially in our spare time. You know what I mean? The, the conversations we engage in, right? It's very important that we don't caught up in the, get it caught up in dramas. It's very important we don't get caught up in egos, right? No one, no one truly wins if it's an ego win, right, Cap? We, it's really only a win if it comes from a heart-based, uh, you know, and from a heart-based um, perspective, right? And so just know that if in the next little while here, you know, while you're, um, you know, creating this life for yourself of, you know, new beginnings of happiness, remember that the true happiness comes 
from the love and the happiness we feel about ourselves. And if there are ever is ever a time where our ego does rear its head, we want to be mindful of it. Anytime there's a um, we're speaking to somebody poorly or we're reacting to somebody, right? Like somebody upsets us. Because be mindful, Capricorn. Nobody should ever upset us. It's only us that should upset ourselves if we choose to, right? It's always a choice. So if someone upsets us and we react to them, it is because there is a shadow in there somewhere, right? That's when you want to be mindful about that that level of vibration, right? What is it that's upsetting you that that person did or that person said? Or maybe you're feeling that person's energy. So then you want to be mindful. Oh, is this person feeling upset? And then I'm feeling their energy. So now I'm getting upset. You know what I mean? That's where energy comes into play. You want to be mindful, okay? Because I can see here that there are so many beautiful new abundant beginnings happening for you with this full card and the ace of cups here. So again, this is going to be a profound time for you of evolution and a, a journey, a journey where you are really going to, again, your soul is going to evolve to a whole nother level. Okay. Your heart is going to be so open during this process because it's going to be a process that's really going to make you feel so purposeful, bring you, a, bring a whole new level of layer to your life. Okay. A lot of passion. And as long as you keep your intentions and focus set on where you want to go with a positive lens, that positive outcome, you're always going to be rewarded because this justice card always validates and lets us know all's fair and love and war, right? But if we're thinking about those negative things, we're going to get those negative things, right? If we're vibing down here and we're thinking about negative things, we're going to get those negative things. If we're vibing up here about those positive things, we're going to be getting those positive things. That's why it's really important that we do keep that, that glass half full perspective no matter what the situation, right? It doesn't matter what the situation is. Everything is always working out for us. If it doesn't feel like it's a good situation at the time, no, you're just undergoing a few changes, okay? But remember, with the King of Swords, it's always about truth, okay? Making sure that you don't take action before you understand truth. What works? What doesn't work? Don't jump into something just because, you know, it, 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 in this element, you know, uh, it feels like it's the right thing. Make sure you, you know, cross your T's and dot your I's. Get the full scope, right? Get the full truth here. And that way, you're always going to have... Um, the ideas that come forward are always going to resonate with your highest good, right? Sometimes when we leap into things, um, and again, you know, when it feels good, it does feel good. But there's also an element when we're starting something new, a new project, a new relationship, let's just say. Um, we want to be mindful that we're not just you know, going with everything. We want to take a step back and really make sure that, again, the, the actions that we take resonate with our highest self. And we're not just doing it because we saw it or someone said something or you know what I mean cap something along those lines okay make sure it's your truth okay now here we have turkey spirit coming forward so give with gratitude and grace and remember uh money and um well let's put it this way money is attracted to appreciation and gratefuls love is attracted to love so if you're looking for love in your life or if you're looking to enhance the love in your life the ele the 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 element of love you love about your uh, love for yourself you have is going to reflect in your relationships. Okay. And that goes back to, again, if you ever find yourself reacting to somebody in your life who you love dearly, remember that is a, a, an element of yourself that you have to work on. Be mindful of that because it's very releasing and it's very rewarding to get to, to, to um, self-aware and do uh, personal development work. Okay. And also when it comes to money, okay, I, I do sense there is a new project or a new career on the table here for you, Cap. Know that this is going to bring you a lot of stability just be grateful for everything you have in your life right now okay be truly truly grateful anything that frustrates you anything that brings you maybe an element of you know discomfort or un unsatisfaction be grateful for it anyway because at the end of the day again you will only attract uh, goodness into your life if you are grateful okay and always always know that you are being guided so let spirit do its job and all you have to do is your job okay so again follow those good vibes and i'm talking the vibes that aren't that aren't impulses, okay? There's the difference, right? That's what the King of Swords is all about. Not following an impulse, but really taking a step back and being like, do, does this resonate with me? Is this my truth? Is this something that makes sense to me? Is this something, is this my message? Is this something I wanna portray? You know what I mean? Really have that insight because again, Spirit's always guiding you, but we're, you're guided through your heart, right? You're guided through things that make you feel, it's that feeling of just knowing, you know, that, that inner knowing, that's always spirit there for you. And spirit will always direct you in the, um, in the, down the path that you need to go cap. So just always know, believe in yourself because you have the experience that it is required in order to persevere and in order to get all of the rewards that you long for from this position. Okay. And just know that now is a time more than ever to be yourself. Okay. Be yourself 
yourself, right? You know, understand that you may need to um, think on your feet, right? During this time, but no thinking on your feet means that you cannot be under the facade of somebody else. Because when you're thinking on your feet and you're in the middle of a lie, almost like you're pretending to be somebody you're not, you're going to get caught. You know what I mean? So you want to be mindful of that energy. You just want to know that your authentic nature is truly everything that you require to be. You don't need to be anything more than you absolutely are. And understand that again, anytime our egos come up, it's an opportunity for shadows. And that's why spirit is saying with that hermit card first, build that foundation with yourself, get your light shining so darn bright that you are so magnetic. You got everything being, being attracted right to you, right? You don't even have to do nothing. It's just think people are showing up at your door and you're getting phone calls about all these uh, financial um, upgrades and all the good stuff. Okay. And I'm true. Trust me, this truly does happen. But again, it is based upon the magnetic vibration you feel about yourself. Focus on yourself first and everything will unfold how it's supposed to. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.